okay so here it is so it depends upon the system the first come first served basis or maybe um uh, system uh, depends upon the server maybe it is cleaning up all the uh, cache things uh, regularly so based on that also uh, you may get a different ip addresses in a uh, different times okay so maybe uh, delete refresh okay properties this is the properties how to clean the cache cache things also will be there fail or replicate or maybe if you restart the uh, dscp server uh, you, maybe you will get a different ip addresses um, here okay so maybe the cleaning of mac and ip address already given so this based on the refreshment of this list you may get ip address differently so one day i got a 110 maybe other pc got 115 or a 113 or a 112 or maybe i got tomorrow different ip address currently i'm getting 2.224 i'm getting right i'm getting constantly this one actually maybe in a future maybe i will uh, i may get it different way maybe i will reset my router or maybe um, the cache thing is clean up so what happened i may get a different ip addresses to my uh, pcs once lease is over or um, ip address are uh, renew process is not there and in any different situations a system get different ip address because of dhcp is allocate giving ip address to client dynamically so any ip available in dhcp server list it will give you an ip address so that is a very simple thing right now what happened i have a butler pc for example my manager pc or maybe i have a a important uh, uh, server type means a desktop or a maybe server normally servers we should assign static way only but think like server just for example only. or maybe a printer i have a uh, printers are there no? network printers are there okay so this is my network printers these printers uh, need an ip address and guarantee that ip address only they should get it for example i put a 121 for a printer one 122 to printer two like that okay if anyone get any kind of ip addresses for my printer oh sorry sorry oh, okay, that is a good one for a printer one so 121 for a printer two 122 like that i want to reserve some ip addresses for this printer when i switch on this printer so it's a network printer right so this printer should get an ip address from my dhcp but always this printer will get these ip addresses only not a random ip addresses compulsory these printers should get it because when user is accessing accessing with a ip address only everyday printer ip is changing so then user will get confused and you don't know what ip address it is there so what i do i have reserved these ip addresses for these printers or maybe uh, i have a important laptop or desktop is there i want uh, always one favorite ip address like uh, 125 should be there uh, given to this particular uh, pc pc uh, one i want to assign ip address to 125 to always this pc will get 125 only okay not any other ip addresses this always get 121 this always get 122 or maybe this always get 111 like that i can reserve ip address for butler pc or a device like a printer or a, uh, other devices okay or maybe storage space nas storages are there so i can reserve a certain ip addresses now the question is how to reserve an IP address for a particular PC? How to reserve it? When you are communicating, means when Dora process is there, discover offer request acknowledgement. In the Dora process, client discover, right? So when a client is discovering, client MAC address is also there. Okay, this is a client MAC address. So we have to take the client MAC address and bind a MAC address 
to an IP address, for example, like this, for example, 125, for example. So I take a client MAC address, okay, and uh, bind to a Putler IP address. What happened when I received a discovery packet? So when I offers to the client, when I offer to the client, I will offer only one IP address only. I don't offer any of the IP address. I will offer, offer. I will check the MAC address, MAC address, and this is a MAC address. This is a IP address. So I will, I will send only that IP address. Offer means giving an IP address. So client will get this IP. So he will send request. Uh, I want this IP address uh, with a lease duration and also I will get configure. Finally, I will get configure with the IP address okay like this it will work so why i written 125 to attract one for what happened to 121 how to reserve 121 okay 125 is a pc address 11 is pci but how to reserve for a printer 121 how to reserve for a printer printer means network printer printer means that meaning is here in here in, the, in this situation it is a network printer so network printer means the printer has an NIC. So if you go to that printer backside or front side, or maybe in a manual or manufacturer uh, details, it contains a MAC address. Or maybe you can take a print, a test print. So in that one, definitely it will told what is the IP address and MAC addresses. Take the MAC address, bind there. That's it. Take the MAC address and bind there. So obviously you will get always same IP address. So that is what I'm saying is that is. <sighs> Mac bind Mac to IP address. Okay, so this is a DSP reservation. How to do it? So we'll do it uh, very simple, practical. So I'm going to client right click status. I'll also, we can see the MAC address. How to see the MAC address? Like this, and other options are. What are other options? Get Mac get mac ip config space slash all so we'll get it mac address this is a physical address or a mac address so first dscp reservation so when we think like a a pc or a device okay, should get same ip address Irrespective, irrespective of, irrespective of lease duration, lease duration won't work here. Lease duration will be no lease duration here. Irrespective of lease duration and uh, uh, IP. Uh, availability so always it should get so what to do so go to the client go to the client take the mac address and note down the mac address so what is my mac address i have to get it from here okay zero zero hyphen Zero C. I find two nine. I find E five. I find four B. I find A five. Zero 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 C two nine. Uh, e five. Four B. A five. Copy. Now, I took the MAC address. Okay. Current IP address is 106. Remember, it's 106. Now I'm going to server. I'm going to reservation. Okay, guys, see here it is. It's already 106 is there. If you want to reserve this one, you can right click. Add to reservation also, you can do it. Do it. Add to reservation also, you can do it. No problem. But I'm doing from normal way. So right click. 
new reservation then uh, give the mac address here first so i copy pasted mac address 0 i'm giving 123 um some name i given my client name only win c1 125 i'm giving description you can give you can put both or a DHCP also, no problem. Either you can give both or a DHCP, no problem. I'm giving like that. Click on add. Some name, any name. Next one, what IP address you want to give? And this one, why I given 123? Add, close. Because 123, I excluded. That's why I took in a from the excluded. Okay. So, how to do it now go to the server okay dhcp part okay there you can go to um reservation go to reservations right click right click new reservation So in the reservation, give the name of the reservation, second uh, IP address. Okay, so I give an IP address as 172.16.0.123. Okay, and give the MAC address. What MAC address? Client MAC address only. Then click add. That's it. Okay, so which address we should give which address we should give reservation so you can give address within a network within a network range range means total network range from from anywhere to anywhere better not to give already taken which already already taken what is a uh, taken means uh, static way manually assigned to someone okay like a uh, static IP addresses static IP addresses okay are uh, already using in a in a manner okay so better not to already taken so better like example is uh, static IP addresses type okay already taken right so like that it's better not to give uh, already uh, taken address next better one is what is a uh, better one is exclude range best as better one is exclude range uh, inside a scope scope range is okay or outside of the scope also it means my scope uh, uh, my scope is um, 0 .101, right? to 0 dot one not one right to zero dot i'm like giving last one only 150 so you can give within the network and i, I given exclude range so 1012 so 105 uh, right so 0 dot 105 so this is my uh, excluded range and this is my total scope range i can give any ip address from here i can give from excluded ranges and i given also one more excluded like this i can give it an excluded that is a better because we don't use that one uh, for anything okay next uh, should not use already taken ip addresses in a static way or you can use within this one to avoid the conflicts and all make sure that what static ip addresses are using in the network second second so exclude the uh, range within the, your group within the range better to exclude use in the exclude so you can use any of this one 
okay next uh, we have to once you add it so you have to check few things check uh, address lease and other things also so we'll go to the address lease you can see three things are added it is showing a inactive it is showing a inactive why it is inactive this is a renew process right once renew process is started okay so maybe it, is, it should be started not yet started when renew process is started again request and acknowledgement time automatically client will get updated so we'll see client is getting new ip address or uh, yeah client got ip address 123 it's not updated there but client will get that one so client actually got 106 earlier now 123 and if you see these symbols this is a scope name right so this is a scope name can you see it is look like a some calendar type but this is a clock type means this is having a expiry this is not having any expiry always get same ip okay so i have to go to refresh now what happened it is 123 name of this one and active where is 106 gone from the list automatically and client got automatically this ip address if in case client didn't get the updated ip address okay within the period it will automatically updates if you wait for a four minutes to eight minutes you, if you wait for four to eight minutes maximum client will get update with a new because when the new process started automatically client will get updated if client is not get updated what to do if client is not getting updated what to do disable and enable the adapter otherwise you can use ip config slash release okay it will remove the existing ip address and it will renew the new ip address okay it get the new ip address then you can check ip config slash all then you will get all the details of ip address like ip address subnet mask lease obtained lease duration mac addresses and as well as dhcp dns uh, server addresses okay so this is about lease duration last one uh, that's the uh, only i will uh, tell normal way um, so what is this automatic private ip address okay so when we get this i kind of ip address when we got this ip address of this one so uh, in nic so you you choose up, obtain ip address automatically choose you choose obtain ip address automatically so nic is obtain ip address automatically next one is so if you choose it but what happened but uh, what happened uh, dhcp server unavailable unavailable so you don't get ip address so scenarios unavailable or disconnected okay or unavailable means you shut down failure service stopped okay available that pool range means that uh, scope range completed so it cannot able to uh, 
give IP address no. So no free IP addresses in a in a scope in scope no free IP addresses. In these cases, usually you don't get an IP address. So you choose IP address automatically and DHCP uh, enable. Yes, it's showing. Okay. So and also you check the IP address of your PC. IP address is showing uh, automatic gully automatic gully IP configuration IP address. Something it is showing like 169.254. Something dot something. And other things also showing like this. Okay. The reason is this is the reason. Reason is. Okay, so you, you put uh, this option and if you see in uh, adapter settings, their uh, status if you see, it is showing S and it is showing automatically or something it is showing like this IP address, it is showing like this. Okay, automatic IP address like this it is showing. So what is this? It is a IP address, you got it. Issue is there, right? What is the issue? Uh, the APIPA range, what happened in these cases? System assign assign IP address to an IC. So that in a range. Is 169.254.0.02.169.254.255.255. This is the range. Okay, so this range we call it as a APIPA range automatic private IP address. automatic private IP address the system uh, assign IP address to NIC the range of IP address the range is in this range next one um, so what is we call why we call a pipa because if you fail to get IP from very very simple you fail to get IP address from DHCP from DHCP so system assign IP address to your NIC okay that we call it as a automatic private IP address range okay so there is a few statements we can uh, set so it will assign uh, IP address to assign an or a an IP address to the NIC okay in a IP address range in APIPA address range that is called APIPA or you can say in these conditions system assign IP address to NIC in this range this range is nothing but APIPA range it is all for the APIPA okay next what to do if you got ip bar so what to do so troubleshooting in a troubleshooting we should know what caused this one we should know what caused this one so what caused this one for example dhcp server unavailable it is disconnected i have switch off my router i don't get ip right if i switch off my router i don't get an ip address so that is my DHCP server. If DHCP server is unavailable, then I don't get an IP address. Okay, so we'll see that one. This is my DHCP server. So I am going to NIC of this one. So no, not required. This is uh, yeah. Here it is. I'm disabling this one temporarily. My uh, server uh, one. 
I'm disabling or disconnected like you can disconnect is also like you can go to settings I disable NAC you can go to this one you can change to some other settings okay connected you can disconnect it like that you can do it but I'm not doing like that just I'm disabling it okay next uh, I'm going to this okay um, Till the renew runs, till it is completed, uh, once then it will uh, going to remove automatically, right? Uh, what I will do? I remove the IP address now only. So my server unable to provide an IP address now. So right, first I will remove IP address, existing IP address. So I releasing. Don't worry. See it is. I remove my IP address. So I got a automatic configuration IPA P4 address. DSCP enable S auto configuration and this one. So I got a IP address automatically. Okay. So I got something IP address like this. Even if you are done, renew. Okay, it will be wait and try to search for a IP address from DHCP server. No DHCP server is available. I will get it from uh, automatically like this. Okay, so like this. So I created a problem to show you how to solve it. So unavailable, disconnected, disabled range is completed okay our service is down unavailable means uh, disconnected device or, or a service down service down in all these cases we can't, you won't get ip from dhcp in all these cases you don't get dhcp uh, right so then we got a IP. so what to do find out do you have a dhcp server is DHCP service is running? Is it disconnected or connected? All the IP addresses are available or not? So any free IP address is available or any other things are there? You know, sometimes see. Here, there is a filtering also there like yellow deny. DHCP service are provided to any MAC address in this list. DHCP service are denied to any mac address so if i mention a mac address here okay if i mention a mac address here so what happened new filter enable so like uh, you can put a mac address and description so what happened so whenever you are give, try to give ip address that time server will check it mac address don't give ip address to butler mac address don't give ip address to butler pc with this mac address like that you can able to restrict it also okay now again i'm going to my list okay so like that you have to check that issue also so make sure that your server is available now i try to find a solution um, so my adapter is disabled now i'm going to enable this adapter okay i want to check the ip address and all Yes, I have uh, my adapter and I have my one uh, piece in the server. Okay. Just for understanding only, guys. So I'm telling. Okay. Now, if you want to refresh this one or uh, anything. Okay. okay. So I refreshed everything. And you can see here uh, the someone not even a get ip address also like this this is a client okay uh, i am checking an ip address ip uh, config so still i have a api address only in a client or I, I want to check from here check it status still i have a api address 
so my server is problem is solved but still at my client i may get same ip address only so what i will do okay i put a release means i will remove the existing ip address and renew it means try to find out where is the dhcp server so we'll see the renew thing so release and renew so if you got any time ip path so make sure that dhcp is available dhcp is working dhcp service is good pool of ip address is good okay then what you will do once it is troubleshooting of dhcp completed still you are not getting ip address proper ip address from dhcp server what to do first release and then renew release and renew two commands even though if you are changing the network for example you disconnect from here network you went to your friend home there is a, a different network is there you are connected to network but you didn't get a ip address network is changed already i given this example in my office only i have a two networks two routers two different type of uh, uh, ip addresses like one is 192.168.0.100 another is 192.168.1. something 1.2 1.3 it will give two different type of routers when we change the router uh, from one router to another router to the switch uh, users not getting different ip addresses what we do we do this thing only why it is taking that much of time oh, otherwise you have to disable and enable it first release the release is not working first and if the new pcs are having always on it is showing this is active then why my other client is not getting ip address and my is also connected right it's not red class mark it is connected and why my physical machine not getting ip address that is also there you no know? so my vm net one vm network something happened okay what i will do so i will go to this this i'm going to restart the service this one right click all task restart the service <laughs> I to try to solve the problem and it is become big problem.
why it is not working refresh this is server options policies filters reservation i'm removing the reservation also yeah this is vendor class user class why this is giving release release why it is not releasing just type it on p i p can be slash question mark all renew el any connection that has it is connection you can't pay This is working. One is not working. That is, this is forest. So I'm disabling manually. Got an IP address actually like this. I disable and enable it, um, of course. Then also you can go to CMD. So IP config slash release. So it, it actually it should show like this. Renew. After renew, it should show IP address like this. But it is not worked uh, that time. Maybe uh, issue. Okay. Okay. So like this. Uh, I forget what I have to do like this. So troubleshooting at client side means after DHCP troubleshooting. So go to the client side. CMD. IP. On P slash release and ip config slash renew and then take the ip address another one is this is 
disable ethernet then enable okay. disable and enable and check it and nice. this is the one part and this is another part this is not cmd gui mod okay so nc ca dot cpl there go to your ethernet watch which one is your ethernet so disable it and enable it so in cpl ethernet then uh, rt right click first disable it then enable it that is better so this is how to solve what is ip path what you if you got ip path what what we have to do it in generally okay so